Alright, so today we're playing Super Flight. This was bought for me by Dave Justice, who said he really wanted to see my reaction. So, this could go one of two ways, I'm sure. I could either have an amazing time, or I'm going to end up throwing the controller against the wall within five minutes. I have no idea about this game, other than he wanted me to play it. So, I will, because I'm a nice friend like that. Um, head on over to his channel, links in the description to see some more of his stuff if you like PUBG and various techy gadgety bits but let's see what this is about oh, ok so we're a wingsuit oh I'm running out of speed ok, oh jeez Turning on his own. Okay. So I'm just gonna map off here to go back. What's that? I'm gonna fly some. Whoa, poor. Uh okay. Haha. <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie, I'm digging these controls. This game is controlling wonderfully. Oh, I don't know what it is. I restarted the map? A restarts the map. I'm trying to think this reminds me of something. I'm not entirely sure what. Oh, he's turning me around again. Okay. I'm gonna use the oh, I want the portal. I want the portal. Seems to like you going through portals. Oh, that's narrow, that's narrow! I got you. I think Dave thought I would rage at this game, but honestly, this is a great map. I mean, it's simple. Oh, there's my first crush. It's really simple. Uh, a seems to restart the map from what I can see, and the left stick is the controls. Okay, now it tells me how to super fly. But, um, what is it? Oof, another death. <laughs> okay. So after that tutorial, now I... Ooh, I've got maps. I can create maps. Ooh, let's go for a seed with my name. Okay. Uh, doesn't seem to be any other controls other than just the stick. It's just a case of flying around as many things as possible, getting close to the walls. Flying through narrow places, whilst also maintaining my speed. Portal, 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 portal. The controls feel really tight. And I know I've said that about five times now. Screwed. I know I've said that about five times now. Um, but it really does feel well. Feel really, really good. You get little small nudges on the stick, give you just the little fine control you need. And it very quickly changes to sweeping around. With a slightly longer press, but it feels like a really sweet transition. Let's see if I can get the game. Not much. Okay. So we'll do with this map. We're trying another seed. getting a really good feeling on it. It's a really good sense of speed as well. I mean, this is... This reminds me of something so much, I can't remember exactly what it is. I wish I knew. Oh, okay, this 
this looks interesting. sense of speed in this game and I've been playing a lot of the GTA lately. Oh into the wall. Or the roof. Uh playing a lot of GTA lately. And one thing that really irked me about that was the lack of any sense of speed. Because like you only you only end up going like a hundred miles an hour in the air. Which is strange even in like a jumbo jet, you know? But at the same time you would expect a sense of speed but they don't really keep one in. This has an insane sense of speed. I don't know if it's coming well in the video, but it, oh, that was a bad one. But it just feels really, really fast. Maybe because I've got to react so quickly to everything. And the wind noise. I'm going to make this a pretty short video because, I mean, gameplay wise, you've seen pretty much everything there is to it. I don't want to bore people too much. And um, without commentary, I'm not going to be able to keep this commentary up for very long. Uh, it's going to be very, very difficult to make an interesting video. So I'll play a little bit more. I'll record a little bit more, and then I will go play some more of this on my own and try and beat those high scores. I don't know if Dave actually thought I would enjoy this, or if he thought it would get a real rage out of me. I'm gonna rage on the pink I'm not gonna be able to go to that one. I'm gonna go to that one. Ah, well. Because I've got a fairly low tolerance for bullshit in games. Um, and I also have a very loose definition of bullshit. Uh, and the rage for these games if I don't like something. Huge amount of patience. Why have never gone on with the Dark Souls series? I tried playing Dark Souls 3 quite a while ago. That's pretty much when it came out. The big problem I had with that was getting my ass constantly kicked on the first boss. But I never felt like I was learning anything about it. I learned short strategy. It just felt like I was bashing my head against the wall. I could feel myself getting angry and angry and angrier. That coming. So, no idea. Maybe have a very cool tolerance for that. I'm not having a good time in the game. I find it very difficult to actually make myself enjoy it, or to get to a stage where I'll enjoy it. I have a game here with a slow starter. Oh, you can play the first. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I play the first, you know, five hours and it gets better. I've got a low tolerance for that sort of thing. This game is cheap. This is a couple of quid, this game. In fact, I think with it being on sale right now, I think Dave said he bought it for like 20 or something like that. And you could easily get uh, a couple of hours playtime out of this, just trying to beat your high scores. Ooh, what I wonder if there's any presets. This, oh, this map is very, very horizontal. Not a lot of vertical in it. So I can't really... I can't really place it to fly down. This actually reminds me of a game concept that I kind of would really, really love to make. Anyone who knows me knows how much I love flight. Or flight I love to me. birds. And what I really want is a game where you can play a certain type of different types of birds. And fly just kind of like fly around the forests and explore cities and just explore it. I think so far. 
this is pretty much the closest to that that we can um, there is another oh dear, there is another indie game uh, god I wish I could remember it's name oh, uh, I wonder if they're going to bring up the overlay oh the game doesn't support the overlay fantastic um, let's see if I can get Oh, that is a fast start. Um, God, I wish I could remember its name. I'm never going to remember its name. Uh, I'll find out before I put this video up, and then I'll over the text. But you can transform into a bird at any stage of the game. And fly around, and that's really, really good. It's got a very polygonal art style. And this is a lot more blocky. This is kind of like the Minecraft sort of graphic style. Um, the problem with that is it's a very limited area you can use. You very quickly run out of this. This is just because all these maps are seeded and randomly generated. You can easily spend hours playing this and finding different places. I was addicted to going through those portals for points, even though I want to explore more of these maps. That windmill is a super. That is just perfectly captured. Get some down, get some speed. You don't go perfectly down, I don't think. You've got a little bit of lift, so it keeps trying to pull you horizontal. Which means. Which means, uh, like, if you're trying to go down, like, a sort of pipe or tunnel or something like that, it's going to be kind of difficult because you're just going to keep getting closer and closer to the New high score! Struggling. I don't know what happened there. Controls didn't even want to respond. It's like this. I can fly down through this easily enough. But if it was longer, I would have trouble. Because I would start getting pulled into one of the walls. Whichever wall my back is taking the way to Doesn't seem to be a points penalty or anything for that. It seems to just be another way of getting on that. I don't think it resets my score or anything. Uh, I, don't, I don't think there's a way out of there. I can't screw myself. 21,000. Right, I'm going to leave it there, folks. Hopefully this has been uh, interesting for you. It's been really interesting for me. I'm going to play this some more, but I'll not bore you with my commentary. Um, so, yeah, check out Dave Justice who sent me this game. Uh, the link's in the description. And, um, you know, check out the rest of my stuff. Have a good time. See ya.